guys, how you doing? Nick Carlos here from Yugi Dojo, and I'm talking about tech choices, meaning tech cards that you can probably put inside your main deck or even in your side deck that'll help you out with what's going on in the meta today. And today's tech choice card is none other than the amazing, powerful Cyber Dragon. Now, many of you guys are probably saying Cyber Dragon tech card play that a lot and you're absolutely right people do play it a lot but some people don't in today's video I'm gonna speak to why cyber dragon is a very very good tech choice for this environment today so let's go take a look all right we're talking about cyber dragon and basically what cyber dragon does is if there's a monster on your opponent's side of the field and there are no monsters on your side of the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. 21 attack, 1600 defense. Now, that alone makes this an amazing monster that you can special summon this monster, you know, and still be allowed to play your normal summon. So that's one tech choice for the reason why this card should be in there, in your deck, or if not, definitely in your side deck. The other reason is it's that it's, it baits out warnings, you know? I special summon this. Guess what? That's a big beater that they're going to have to deal with. And guess what? More than likely, they'll be like, uh, no, I'm going to solemn warning that guy. Because I don't want to have to deal with a 2100 beater. You know, another reason why that uh, Cyber Dragon is so good is because of its 2100 attack. You know, many people are starting to play Thunder King Ryu now a lot in their decks. And guess what? Thunder King Ryu is 1900. Guess what's bigger than 1900? Cyber Dragon. And guess what? You can get it for free. But it also baits them out from using their Thunder King Ryu also. Because Thunder King Ryu can actually negate the special summon of Cyber Dragon. So not only does it bait out the Solemn Warnings, it makes them have to think whether they want to use their Thunder King Ryu on it or not, because either A, they're going to lose it by negating this, or they're going to lose it by an attack if they don't have uh, any way to protect it. So it baits out those things there, so it's a great, great card inside this, this environment. The other thing is that it's a light monster. It has a light attribute. Which nowadays we know what happens when you have light monsters and some dark monsters in your graveyard. You can start bringing out the big BLS beast there. Or even the Chaos Sorcerer. Because Chaos decks seem to be making a, a rise now since it won the, y, the recent YCS. But another reason why, which I think is amazing right now. And you may not have realized this. But with Cyber Dragon, it has a co-partner that, that it loves working against. Working with, I should say, which is Chimera Tech, Fortress Dragon. It loves working with that. It loves working with it because you know what it does? If my opponent is playing any type of machine type monsters, meaning any of most of the Karakuri monsters that are out there, basically I could summon, special summon, a Cyber Dragon, remove all their monsters from their field, all the machine monsters to bring out, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. And this guy could get really big really soon. Also, it works against like the gadgets decks out there that people play here and there. Summon this, bring this guy out. Now, the other surprising thing that you may not have known is that Exceed Monster that people keep on playing now because of their tour guides, which is the Wind Up Zen Miner, Meister. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong, but you guys know which one who I'm talking about. Maybe you guys may not realize he's a machine. Granted, he has a 21 defense. And basically, when he gets destroyed, he can remove uh, exceed material and not be destroyed. Basically, he stays on the field. So getting over him is really, really difficult for some people. Even for people that have big monsters like 2100 beaters. But guess what? He's a machine. And guess what Cyber Dragon loves about machines? I could summon this with the special summon. And I'm going to basically fusion summon to bring out this guy. 
No longer on the field, his Zen means. You don't have to worry about having to get over it, losing a bunch of cards to get over it. Gone. That's the one main reason why I say that Cyber Dragon is a super tech card now. All right, guys. So that's enough for uh, today's ish uh, episode of, you know, Tech Choices. Next week, we'll talk about another card, all right? So speak to you guys later. Give me the thumbs up for Cyber Dragon. And, uh, you know, leave your comments down below. Let me know what other cards you think are, are tech cards. All right? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Keep playing good Yugi's, guys. Peace. Thank you.